Okay, so let's go through uh, some details of this derivation of absolute vorticity conservation and beta effect and the evolution of the beta gyres and the asymmetry. I will shamelessly take the text from the book. Uh, hopefully it will make it easier for you to uh, read and uh, understand the explanations. So we're wanting to look at conservation of barotropic non-divergent absolute vorticity zeta plus f and barotropic again is uh, just neglecting vertical structure variations. So barotropic non-divergent absolute vorticity zeta a can be useful for studying some problems in synoptic or larger scale meteorology weather scale systems uh, as demonstrated by analysis of uh, the complete prognostic vorticity equation. Meteorology people uh, uh, learn this a lot. Propagation is the deviation of the tropical cyclone motion from the environmental steering. So we will start without any environmental steering and we'll see what the cyclone does and then add the environmental steering. Okay, Conservation of absolute vorticity provides insight into the source of this propagation component of motion. And then you have to explain why the cyclone moves more than you would expect just from the steering winds based on this understanding. The barotropic non-divergent vorticity equation that we looked at before uh, with zeta plus f uh, instead of zeta a is still d zeta a dt equals zero. This again is Lagrangian. In other words, parcel uh, a parcel moving with prevailing winds will always have the same value of absolute vorticity. There is no friction generating and destroying vorticity in this assumption. Uh, propagation due to barotropic vertici absolute vorticity conservation is the beta effect. So as we said, the variation of uh, Coriolis with latitude is very critical for motion of tropical cyclones. To solve the beta gyres, uh, we use perturbation analysis. Uh, essentially, we write the same equation d zeta f plus uh, d dt of zeta plus f equals zero, but then uh, we uh, again. Um, write this in terms of the time derivative uh, equals the advection uh, of the um, absolute vorticity. Okay. Uh, therefore, at a given location, the relative vorticity zeta changes with time because of the advection of absolute vorticity. Okay. We are assuming barotropic, so the uh, grad dot v term is zero. That's why the advection term simplifies to this one by the prevailing winds which are non-divergent. Uh, assumptions and observations underlying our thought experiment here to solve for beta gyres are listed here. Because of its nearly circular horizontal structure, cylindrical coordinates are uh, the ideal coordinate. So you use R a lambda z. R is the radial direction. Lambda is the azimuthal or la um, longitudinal direction. And z, z is the vertical direction. So imagine um, the um, cyclone sitting uh, somewhere and you have the azimuthal direction on a sphere, that's the longitudinal direction, and UVW are along those directions, radial, azimuthal, uh, tangential, and vertical. Since we are using the barotropic non-divergent vorticity equation, which also means no friction, the simple tropical cyclone in our solution below has only symmetric rotating winds, no radial and vertical components, it's barotropic, non-divergent. Therefore, any asymmetries that develop are not part of the original symmetric tropical cyclone. We are just starting with um, uh, the um, cyclone with symmetric rotating winds. To simplify, we begin our thought experiment with only symmetric tropical cyclone on a rotating Earth, Coriolis sphere, Coriolis parameter varying in the north-south direction. There are no other wind sy weather systems, so there is no steering flow in our initial um, idealized analysis. In this experiment, asymmetries can only result from the interactions between the symmetric tropical cyclone and Earth's vorticity gradient. So beta effect is going to give us the beta uh, gyres and generate asymmetries. Uh, 
with no steering flow, any motion of the simple tropical cyclone must be only due to these beta gyres. So that simplifies life in terms of understanding. So solving for beta gyres includes observations which suggest that we partition each wind component EVW further into a symmetric tropical cyclone and asymmetric contribution from the beta gyre component. So you can write vector winds as V symmetric plus V asymmetric and that makes the relative vorticity also zeta symmetric plus contribution from the beta gyre as the zeta asymmetric. Because we can, we, have, we can have no vertical motion in this particular barotropic vorticity equation, only the horizontal wind components remain, of course. Both winds and the vorticity which uh, is derived from the winds are partitioned into storm and beta gyre components. Makes sense, right? Substituting the partition components into uh, the previous equation here, the uh, partial dt of zeta s plus zeta a, so symmetric plus asymmetric, so tropical cyclone component and the beta gyre component can be written as minus uh, v dot asymmetric times grad zeta s minus v dot symmetric v dot symmetric uh, dotted with grad uh, zeta asymmetric minus v symmetric dot grad f where the gradient of the Coriolis of course is only in the y direction or the in this case the uh, yeah, the appropriate latitude in our direction, uh, where small terms are ignored. Okay, so obviously if you take our original uh, term, this one, and substitute for zeta s plus zeta a and v s plus v a, you will get many terms, but we have retained these terms. Uh, so v s dot grad zeta s is zero, and both v uh, a dot grad zeta a advection of the beta gyres by themselves and v dot a dot grad beta uh, grad f the beta gyre advection by the earth's vorticity R remember these are generated by the beta gyre and this is the uh, advection of the planetary vorticity these are assumed to be small so the remaining terms in this equation correspond to the following physical processes this is the time rate of change of the uh, r total relative vorticity at a location, so partial dt of zeta s plus zeta a. And this is the uh, minus v uh, a dot grad zeta s is propagation of the symmetric tropical cyclone due to beta gyres. So we started with a symmetric cyclone. We allowed beta gyres to evolve, and these beta gyres are now creating um, flow that was not there before and steering the, the cyclone and minus v dot s dot uh, dotted with grad zeta a is the advection of the beta gyres by the tropical cyclone as the tropical cyclone moves the entire process of generating the beta gyres and the beta gyres are moving together this causes the change in their orientation away from the east-west direction so this is a critical term where you have some asymmetric uh, vorticity generated by the beta gyres and the tropical cyclone is advecting these uh, beta gyres and that is going to generate uh, asymmetry in the beta gyres themselves. Remember the previous figure we saw we had put these nice, nice anticyclones and cyclones as circular um, uh, features. We have to change that here. And the minus v, uh, v s dot grad f, the term that creates the beta gyres since we begin with only symmetric tropical cyclone on a rotating earth. It's very simple, just so make sure that you go through and understand each of the terms and how they uh, come about and what their interpretations are, right? The equations are always there, you can go back, but the physics has to be very clear in your head. The motion due to beta effect modified by the environmental vorticity gradients can then be done simply by adding an environmental component. So in the real atmosphere, we cannot ignore other uh, weather systems. So to make this solution more realistic, we should also include the environmental flow. This will change two key things. We will also have steering to move the tropical cyclone. Environment is adding to this process of beta gyres moving the cyclone. 
the presence of other weather systems will change the background absolute vorticity gradient right so we are now in the full complex system since other uh, weather systems will not will not be necessarily symmetric around the tropical cyclone their effect will show up in the asymmetric component of the winds and relative vorticity that we have already uh, defined let's partition the asymmetric fields uh, further into environment and beta gyres so now we'll just restate it slightly so v is now got a symmetric cyclone part environmental asymmetric part and the beta gyre parts and similarly the relative vorticity has got symmetric environmental contribution and beta gyre contribution so we've added some complexity so still to keep things simple we will assume that the environment does not change in time so we are in a steady background state which is also not true but nonetheless that makes the relative vorticity contribution from the environment go to zero in time and substituting these into the previous uh, original equation of vorticity uh, conservation we have d uh, ddt of zeta s plus zeta g beta gyre contribution b uh, these terms minus vs dot grad zeta e plus f so zeta e exists it's not changing in time but it's being advected around so make sure you understand that part time derivative goes to zero so this side it disappears but this side is still present minus vs dot grad z, uh, zeta g the advection of the beta gyres minus environmental uh, advection of the symmetric cyclone part minus beta gyre advection of the symmetric tropical cyclone part minus environmental advection of the uh, planetary vorticity so including environment adds extra terms in the simple equation so we just added few extra terms so here the terms are minus ve dot grad zeta s is the steering of the symmetric tropical cyclone due to the we other weather systems environment minus vg dot grad zeta s is propagation of the symmetric tropical cyclone itself due to beta gyres this is the same as minus VA dot grad zeta s we had written before but we redefined it here because the asymmetry is here is coming from the environment as well as the beta gyres so we separated out the beta gyres in this case here we had assumed that the environment is quiescent okay minus VS dot grad uh, zeta e plus f is the term that creates environmental beta gyres since grad zeta e plus f is the background absolute vorticity gradient for the symmetric tropical cyclone so the tropical cyclone is symmetric but it's sitting in a, it's on a sphere so it has uh, it feels the planetary vorticity and we have let's say in the northern hemisphere counterclockwise circulation with uh, air parcels moving to higher f and lower f on either side which gives us the beta gyres that's the term there um, minus vs dot grad uh, zeta g is the advection of the environmental beta gyres by the tropical cyclone that changes their orientation so the whole system is now moving along so beta gyres are changing because the cyclone is moving and uh, cyclone is changing because beta gyres are uh, steering it uh, same as minus v symmetric dot grad zeta a in uh, the previous equation where again here environment and beta gyres are both uh, contributing to summarize the conceptual model of beta gyres for the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere cyclone with non-zero relative vorticity gradient so we have not added any relative vorticity gradient and now you see how the entire cyclone has become asymmetric uh, tilting towards the southwest and here towards the northwest you can see the symmetry there with all the assumptions we have made uh, in terms of barotropic non-divergent uh, vorticity equation and non-divergent background flow time uh, non-time varying background flow and so on systematic schematic of the asymmetric northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere tropical cyclone calculated by summing symmetric vortex and the beta gyres the beta gyres here are the result of a symmetric tropical cyclone in a more typical environment with non-zero relative vorticity gradient 
Obviously, the real situation is still more complicated, but this gives you a good sense of just how intricate the entire cyclone motion and cyclone steering mechanisms are. There are strong interactions with the environment and with the critical latitudinal gradient of planetary vorticity. That is very critical for beta gyres and the asymmetries.